So how do we come into a, a full knowing of our spiritual nature? How do we come into our sovereignty? We use the word king and queen. Words for the creator that we are. How do we know ourselves as that? And how do we come into a place of power and authority in the world in which we live? It isn't by duking it out with our enemies. It is by coming into a higher place. And from there, from ascending the hill of the higher self, we can have some perspective. I was thinking of something else that's a factor in all this. And I feel like, honestly, I'm not putting you on here, like I'm sharing um, a secret, not a complicated one, but it's a secret that I know most people don't know. And it's the most empowering thing you could imagine. And it goes like this, that the outer part of us in the world, the outer part of us is the inner part of that world. Hear me out on this. The outer expression of ourselves, how we show up in our world with our friends and whatever the contexts are, how we show up, that outer part of us that is showing up has the opportunity to provide something central, inner, if you will, um, to that world that that world really needs. But that outer part of us is, you might say, outer with respect to the inner part of us, right? The, the inner part of us, it's um, lower than the higher self. So it's inner with respect to the world, but it's outer with, with respect to our inner nature, right? So the simplest way to say this is to speak of me speaking to you now. You are seeing the outer part of me, yes? And if I'm doing this right, the outer part of me is in total fidelity, attunement, loyalty to the inner part of me. So when you see the outer part of me, it's channeling the inner part of me. And you're touching the inner part of me. When I, when, I, when I first realized that I had the opportunity to do that in my life, I was just mind blown. And I thought, how do I do that? How do I let the outer part of me express to the world, share with the world how I know myself on the inside? How do I share the love that I feel on the inside, on the outside, expressing through me? I think if I showed up, tried to show up here this morning without the outer part of me, it would be pretty hard to show what's on the inside. So it's useful to have an outer expression. So here's the next part of this. What we might refer to as the higher self or the individualized aspect of God the God being that we are in the, on the inside. That's sovereign, that's inner for the rest of our immediate human experience. But it's actually outer for the, I'll just say, the cosmos. It's, out, it's an outer manifestation of the entire family of God. And it's outer, which implies that the way it works is it's in service to that inner reality. Yes, it's, it's sovereign, it's king, it's queen in the world of myself and in the world that I'm responsible for. 
but it's a servant in service to what is higher. That is our inner nature. Our inner nature is sovereign in our world and for, for this human being, but it's a servant to what is above it and what is larger than itself. Obviously, as an individualized aspect of being, we're somehow minuscule in, in that whole larger body of being. And we are in service to that larger body of being, that higher body of, of being. And the more that we know that, the more that we accept that, the more that we embody and express that, the greater is our authority in the world in which we live, in our own psyche. And I'm not talking about a bossing people around kind of authority. I'm talking about the natural authority of being, the natural authority that we have as a being. That authority co comes into us when we acknowledge our inner reality as a servant of what's higher than us. In no way is that demeaning. It's the most ennobling thing that could happen to a person is that they realize that they're in service to something so vast and so beautiful, so noble and so true, so inspiring. And it is that which allows us to Speak with power and say, lift up your heads, O ye gates. Every aspect of my own experience, lift up your heads, open yourself. Stop it, if that's what's needed. Whatever reactive pattern you're into, whatever fear pattern has gotten a hold of you, whatever, anything. Resentment, reaction. No. Lift up your heads. And be ye lift up ye everlasting door that I may come in and express myself in the outer, in the outer dimensions of who I am and in the world in which I live. 